Music Education for All and today we're going to be working with GarageBand and I just want to show you a couple of little basic things about the new GarageBand 11. If you're just getting started this would be a pretty cool thing to check out I think. So if you open GarageBand this is the first thing you're going to see and um, we're just going to choose software instruments so we're going to work with the sounds that are already in GarageBand and we'll just press create. And we're going to turn this off for now, and we're just going to get a loop going. So we're going to press this little loop button up here, and I should probably turn on my speakers really quick, but we'll get, we'll just choose, oh, you can kind of hear it. All right, just an acoustic strum. And we're gonna, <clears throat> so I just clicked on that and it played it. If I click it off, it'll stop. So you're just gonna take that and you're gonna left click and just drag it and drop it right up in here. Oh, look at that, it automatically put the, the track. So there's the name of the track, there's the um, acoustic strum one there's our little loop. So you can just drag this over and we'll just play it at the beginning. So you've got your you've got your little loop right here and you're just gonna hit play. And there it goes. So you've got this little thing. Now you want to play with it a little bit. And we'll just do a couple couple of things you can do. First of all, if you go up here and you just select up here, just a left click, you'll get this bar. And what that is, is just a looping. Um, it's just a way to loop the um, amount of music that you want. So if you play it now, it will just go back and loop and loop and loop over and over again. Now this is really a useful tool uh, later on. I just wanted to show you that. And then, of course, you've got your play, you've got record. This goes back to the beginning right here. And over here, if you look, we've got, um, this is a count in, so it'll give you four beats of count in, and this is your metronome right here. And you can turn these things off by just clicking them. And then you won't, you won't hear the count in, and you won't hear the metronome anymore. So let's play that again. So the metronome is off now. And you can even turn it on while the music is going. So, all right, one last thing I want to show you. And that is, um, oh, and that's your loop. You can turn that off up here. And that is uh, cutting and pasting. So first, when you are going to um, cut a, a track up, you're going to select the um, select the track, and let's say you want to cut this right in the middle, right here. Um, you can go up to Edit and Split Regions at tr at uh, Playhead or uh, Command T, and it gives you the um, gives you the keyboard shortcut right there. So split regions and now you'll see that the regions are split and you can just drag these wherever you want. You can even drag them to a different track if you want uh, provided it's an audio track. Um, this is an audio track right here because it's in blue. So that's real audio actually. So you can just split tracks and that is a really really important tool for GarageBand and for uh, Logic if you choose to upgrade. Anyway, that's about all I wanted to show you for now. Just kind of some basic things with GarageBand. It's a great tool um, if you're composing music or if you uh, want write, to write songs and get some basic scratch tracks. You can do this with j 
very little, just a computer and garage band, really, um, and a microphone would probably help a little bit. Um, but anyway, good luck with that, and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.